Hello, it's Selena coming to you live from Charlie's Pasture for some nice relaxing yoga today. We're going to start in a seated position, so take your time, find your area, make sure you have ample space to stretch, and remember that your safety is in your hands because you're not here with me, you're at home. So please remember to pay attention to your body and your boundaries. We're gonna do a nice full body stretch. Hey! <laughs> and then we're gonna do some, uh, some good restorative poses after that. So just nice and easy today. Take some full deep breaths when you're ready. Just a nice, easy seated position. Again, if this isn't so easy for you, find a block or something to put under your butt or extend your legs out front. Find your comfortable place. Sitting nice and tall, shoulders down and back. Deep breath in, palms coming up. And exhale, palms coming back to the earth. Deep inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, last one, deep inhale. And exhale. All right, nice and easy, bringing your legs together, coming to our knees. As long as this is comfortable for you, we're gonna tuck the toes in the back. Get a nice, good stretch for those feet. So you can bring your knees together or they can be about hips width apart, whatever is comfortable for you. Sitting back, if that's comfortable, again, Right here is just fine. So find the stretch in your feet that feels good for you because we're gonna hold this for about five breaths. When you found that, make sure you're focusing on your upper body, shoulders down and back, hands to heart center. Breathing here, inhale through the nose. And exhale. Letting your body sink into those feet, letting them stretch out. Deep inhale. And exhale. Remember, if it becomes too much, just come out of it. Deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, last full breath, deep inhale, and exhale, good, bring your body forward, hands to the ground, go ahead, tap those feet out, just a little bit, point, flex, move them around, whatever you need to do, whatever feels good, and we're going to come back to a seated position again, if this isn't comfortable for you, get a pillow, or something to put between your feet and your butt. Find a comfortable position for you here. This time we're going to inhale, opening the hands, reaching the chest forward, so we're opening that chest up. And then exhale, hugging the shoulders in, bringing the chin to the chest. Remember, I like to move around in my stretches. Find your movement, whatever feels good for you. Inhale. Reaching long with that nose and chin. Exhale. Hugging your shoulders. Again, deep inhale. And exhale. Good. Bringing those hands down to the side. We're going to do some small half circles with the head to the front. So bringing the chin to the chest. Remember, shoulders down and back. Bringing that head out to the right. Right ear. 
reaching towards that right shoulder. Then back to the center and to the left. Left ear reaching for that left shoulder. Remember, keeping those shoulders active, pushing them down. And inhale and exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Very good. Inhale. Exhale to the right. Now, if you'd like, you can reach that left hand out to the side. Reach like you're grabbing for something. Reaching with those fingertips. Deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more full breath if that's in your practice. Inhale. And exhale, release. Head back to the center, arm coming down. Move it around. Now we're going to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, left ear towards the left shoulder. Now if you want, reaching that right hand out. Reaching those fingertips like you're reaching for something. Deep inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more full breath here, if that feels good. Exhale. Good, releasing, moving that neck around fluid movements, but only little half circles. Move those shoulders around and reverse. Very nice. Now, inhale, reaching up with the fingertips, grabbing that left wrist with the right hand. Exhale, pulling to the side, stretching out that left side body, breathing here. It's all right if your hips are moving to the left, you're just getting a deeper stretch. Just make sure you're not hurting your ankles. Remember, you are in control of your safety. Deep inhale. Exhale. One more full breath here, if that feels nice. Good. Inhale, reaching center up top. Exhale. Now the left hand is grabbing the right wrist. Reaching over to the left. Stretching that right side body now. Deep inhale. And exhale. Breathing here. Make sure you're focusing on keeping your rib cage, your shoulders, your torso on top of those hips. Even though we're to the side, we're still in line. One more full breath here. And coming back to the center, bringing those arms down. Good, find some movement, whatever feels good for your body. Next, we're gonna reach the arms forward curving that cervical and thoracic spine. Reaching forward with the head and back with the spine. So we're stretching out that spine, but I want you to think about having a big beach ball in your arms. Here we go, breathing here. Deep inhale and exhale. Now think about creating space between your chin and your chest, reaching that head forward and out. Deep inhale and exhale. Good, one more full breath if this feels good. And again, you can add some movement into it. Inhale and exhale. Good, moving that out. All around, coming to our hands and knees, our tabletop position. 
tops of the feet pressing into the mat, shoulders over the hands, hips over the knees. We're gonna do a little cat-cow breathing now. I'm gonna cue the breathing. You decide whether you wanna do your cat or cow. So on my inhale, I'm gonna do my cow, shoulders back, chest and chin reaching forward. And then exhale, reverse. Curving that spine, reaching the head down towards the mat. Inhale. And exhale. Remember, whenever you're stressed out, if you have anxiety and you're having a little panic feeling, do a little cat-cow, even if you're seated. Inhale. Even in your chair, working that spine helps with stress. Helps bring your body back to where you need to be. Exhale. One more. Deep inhale. And exhale. All right. Now we're going to try to do some circles with our torso. All right. Move around on your hands, your knees. Just big circles and then reverse. Go the other direction. Face this way so you know what I'm doing. Big circles around your hands and knees. And then reverse. And then this time, we're gonna bring your left side body down, bending those elbows, circling your mat, coming back to the top and rounding that spine. Big circles here. One more, make sure you're breathing, and then we're gonna reverse. So again, in case you can't tell what I'm doing, we're bringing the torso down to the mat, scooping it around. While you're breathing, make sure you're breathing. Remember, your muscles need that oxygen. All right, find your movement, find your stretch, work it out, a little vinyasa. When you're ready, join me again on your tabletop, hands and knees. This time we're gonna reach the right leg back, ball of the foot pressing into the mat, the heel reaching back. So the heel reaching in an opposite direction as the crown of your head. Find that long extended spine, breathing here. Inhale, bringing that right foot forward, coming into our lizard lunge. Make sure you're leaving that left knee, that left knee on the ground, the top of the hand pressing into the mat. Bringing your hands both to the inside of your right leg, squeezing the body with that right knee. So we're right here, squeezing the body right here, squeezing that right shoulder with that right knee. Find your pose. Breathe in here. Reaching long through that spine. Deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Remember, if you're done with the pose, you just come right out of it. Find a comfortable position to relax in. One more full breath here. Now from here, we're pushing back, extending that front right leg. Now if this is your pose right here, take that stretch, enjoy that stretch. Try to lengthen through that spine, pressing the navel towards that right thigh. If you can, come all the way down. You may come all the way down to that back foot, leaving that right toe 
facing the ceiling, reaching forward for a seated forward fold. Find whatever stretch is good for your right hamstring and breathe. practice. Good. When you're ready, walking the hands back, using them to help your body up. Now this time coming to your low lunge, as long as that's comfortable for you. If not, just go back to a lizard lunge or again, find your own pose. Find your stretch. And this time, as we breathe, I'm going to put a little movement in here, stretching, stretching out my cap, sorry, my quad, so, and my calf. So if you'd like to, and this is not in your practice, you don't have to come forward, but I'm bringing my knee past my ankle this time so that I can stretch here and that long muscle in front. But I'm not holding it real long, just nice and easy so we don't hurt the body. Then pressing back in that heel, stretching my calf. Make sure you're breathing. And again, listen to your body. Pay attention to your boundaries. One more breath here. Good, from here, Bringing the weight of your body into the palms of your hands. We're going to bring that right foot back to a plank position. Take your time. Walk it out. Find your plank. Remember, keep a little cat back and the shoulders so you're not sinking. Right there. Full breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Again, find some movement if you'd like. Exhale. On the next exhale, we're coming down to our low plank. So if that's in your practice, go ahead and join me. If not, go right through Chaturanga to the ground. Inhale. And exhale. Holding that tight. Active body. And coming down. Good. Tuck those toes, tap those feet. When you're ready, coming back, walking it out. This time bringing the left foot forward. Coming into our low lizard lunge. So, both hands on the inside of the leg, but again, squeezing that left shoulder with that left knee. Finding a good, comfortable stretch. Breathing here, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, one more full breath here if it's in your practice today. Good, when you're ready, pushing back, again, Find your hamstring stretch. If it's right here, that's fabulous. Take that stretch. If you can, come all the way down. Coming all the way down to that back foot. Remember, keep those left toes pointing towards the ceiling. Walking those hands out front to a seated forward fold. Breathing here. Deep, full breath. to a low lunge. Again, if that's in your practice today. So you can 
find a little movement here if you'd like. My right big toe's been bothering me, so I can't move forward here because it hurts. So I'm going to stay right here, pressing back with my right heel, stretching that calf muscle out, focusing on my upper body, trying to get my shoulders down and back, letting that hip, that left hip open, and bringing that knee back into the body. Just some movement, nice stretches. Inhale. And exhale. One more full breath here, if that's in your practice. Good, we're gonna come into our plank again. Don't curse me. You know you love it. Where it gets you, bringing those feet back, weight of the body into the palms of the hands, find your plank. A little cat back. Inhale here, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, this time coming down either all the way or pausing in the low plank, inhale, and exhale, keeping those elbows in, elbows in, tight body, firm, active muscles, and down. Good, moving around, tap those feet out. Whew. We're gonna do a little <clears throat> cobra breathing. If you'd rather, just bring your forearms to the mat, find a good sphinx position to stretch that spine out in. Here we go. Inhale, pushing up to cobra. Keeping those elbows in, exhale, coming down. Pressing the tops of the feet, all 10 toes into the mat. Inhale, pressing up. Reaching long with the nose and the chin. Exhale, coming down. Again, inhale up. Exhale, down. Good, now this time take a nice cobra, sphinx, or up dog. Whatever is in your practice. Here we go, inhale. Exhale here. Good, full breaths. And when you're ready, pushing back into a child's pose. Bring those toes together. You can either have your knees together or spread apart. If you're pregnant, obviously you gotta spread those knees apart. Room for that belly. Reaching forward with those fingertips, pressing the chest and the navel down towards the mat, breathing here. And remember, if you need to, put a blanket or something under your knees. You can even put something under your butt. And it's okay if your butt doesn't come all the way down to the ground. Find a nice, comfortable place to breathe. full breath here if that's comfortable for you otherwise we're coming to our knees after this when you're ready finding the weight of the body in the palms of your hands coming back to your knees I'm gonna turn to face you find a nice comfortable position again put something under your butt if you need to between your heels and your your bum Reaching the arms out to the side. Deep inhale. Exhale, bringing that right arm across the body. Bringing that left arm, that left hand to help. Help that stretch. You can't reach it there, just grab the forearm here. That's fine. Find your comfortable stretch. Pressing those shoulders down and back. Deep inhale, and exhale, release. Good. Again, inhale, reaching the arms out. Opening that chest, exhale, bringing the left arm across. Find your stretch. Shoulders down and back. Breathing here.
remember, when I come out of a stretch, if you want to hold it, do it. Yoga is your practice. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Good. Now we're going to take our thread the needle. So we're coming into our puppy pose. Bring the feet all the way to the back of your mat. Hips over the knees, reaching all the way forward with your hands. And then pressing that chest down towards the mat. Pressing into the mat with all 10 toes, all 10 fingers, our knees, our forearms, our wrists, our elbows. Deep breath here. As long as this is comfortable for you. Otherwise, come into a child's pose or just wait for us in a tabletop. One more full breath here. When you're ready, bringing the body up. I'm going to do my thread the needle here for my puppy pose. If you need to, just bring your hands back to a tabletop. We're going to thread the needle, bringing the right arm up and out to the side. Inhale here. Exhale, bringing it through the hole all the way down to the shoulder. Turn this way so you can see me. Right here. All the way down to the shoulder. Bring the head to the mat. Reaching those fingertips forward or leaving your palm there to support your body. Find your stretch. Deep inhale. And exhale. Pressing the top of that right hand into the mat. Exhale. Focus on those hips. Make sure you're not sinking the right hip into the left. Inhale. And exhale. Good. When you're ready, bringing the weight of your body into your left palm. Bringing that right arm up and back down to the mat. Now we're going to do the left arm. Bringing that left arm out to the side. Inhale here. And exhale, thread the needle through the hole all the way down to the shoulder. Find your stretch. Focus on your hips, your placement. Deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more full breath here, as long as it's in your practice. Good. When you're ready, bringing the weight of your body into your right palm, pushing up. I'm gonna take a little extra stretch. Coming to your tabletop when you're ready. Find some movement. All right, coming into our downward facing dog. When you're ready, meet me there. Tucking those toes, extending those legs. Remember, pressing those hips back, pressing that navel towards those thighs. Making sure that those hips, that tailbone is reaching up towards the sky. Breathing here, once you find your pose, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more full breath here. Nice. When you're ready, walking those feet forward. Finding your forward fold. Hips should be about, sorry, feet should be about hips width apart. Go ahead, bend one knee, then the other. Find a good stretch for your body. Breathing here. If you can't reach the ground, your hands on your thighs is just fine. Even bending those knees. Find your stretch. When you're ready, if it's in your practice, 
Elongating through that spine. Deep inhale. And exhale, ragdoll. Deep inhale. Extending through that spine. Again, if your hands are on your thighs, that's fine. That's beautiful. Exhale, ragdoll. Last one. Deep inhale. Extending through that spine. And exhale, rolling up. Nice and slow. Take your time. Find some movement if you want. Stretching through each and every vertebrae in your back. Coming to standing. <sighs> Move it around with those shoulders. Move the whole body. Find whatever feels good for you. When you're ready, finding your wide-legged stance. Toes facing forward. Reaching up with the arms. Find your star pose. Activating all those muscles, the inner thighs, the glutes, the abdominal muscles, the shoulders down and back, reaching through those fingertips. One more deep breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, reaching those fingertips forward, coming all the way down to the ground. Again, if you're not here, Bend those knees, make sure they're coming over those toes. If you need to, bring the feet in just a little bit. Put the hands on the knees if you need to. Find your stretch. Deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. One more full breath here. And exhale. When you're ready on your next inhale, walking your hands to the right side. If your palms stay right in front of the right foot, that's fabulous. Find your stretch. If you want to bring that left hand to the right ankle, that's good too. You can even reach that right hand up into the air, breathing here once you find your stretch. Focus on those hips, make sure you're not sinking into the right side. I just had to correct myself. Inhale here, and exhale. One more full breath. Good, when you're ready, bringing that right heel in now. So now my foot is at a 45 degree angle. I'm bringing that right knee over that foot. So see, I can't even get all the way down here, but that's fine. You can find your stretch here. And if you are all the way down, we want, the aim is to keep the heel on the ground. Okay. But if you are all the way down, you can bring your hands to heart center, find your balance. If you're not like me, find your stretch. That's all right. Reach those hands forward. Breathing here. Find your Dandasana. One more full breath here. As long as it's in your practice. Remember, we don't want to hurt our knees or anything. Make sure you're supporting your body. I'm struggling a little bit, finding this is a new pose for me. And when you're ready, extending that right leg, go ahead and move your legs around. Again, find that wide legged forward fold. We're going to the left side now. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the hand in front of the left foot or Again, if it's in your practice, bringing that right hand around that left ankle. And if you want, reaching that left hand up to the sky. Again, focus on those hips. Make sure they stay in line. Breathing here. Deep inhale. And exhale. 
One more full breath if that's in your practice. Good. When you're ready, bringing that left hand back down, coming into our left. Sandasana, you bring that left toe out just a little bit. Again, find your stretch. The aim is to keep that heel on the ground. If you can, bring your hands to heart center. That is fabulous. Stretching out that Achilles tendon. Breathing here. Make sure you keep that knee out. Don't let it sink in. You want the knee bending over the toes. One more breath if that's in your practice. And extending that left leg. Bend it out. Next, we're coming into our goddess pose. So find, find your good, comfortable second position. Oh, sorry, uh, wide-legged stance. Toes facing out. Your feet are at about a 45-degree angle. Bending those knees generously. Find your good stretch. We're going to go ahead and stretch our shoulders before we come into our goddess. So pressing one forward on our inhale. And switching on the exhale. Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good, when you're ready, coming to your goddess position. Again, if that means leaving your hands on your knees or on your hips, that's great. If you want to bring your hands to heart center, shoulders down and back. Breathing here, inhale. And exhale. Finding that deep inner strength, inhale. And exhale. One more breath here. Good. Inhale, extending both of those legs. Coming up to a standing position. Shaking it out. Opposite hand and foot. Shaking it out to the front. And when you're ready, join me back in Shavasana. Laying on your back in a corpse pose. We're going to do a couple restorative poses to end up class. So take your time. Make sure you're drinking lots of water. I do have a plastic bottle today, but I do not condone them. But it happens. So make sure you recycle. <laughs> All right. Brought my bolster with me today. Oh, so I can use it for demonstration. If you want, you can have your knees bent. If you'd rather, your legs extended. Try to keep the small of your back reaching towards the ground. It doesn't have to be touching, but you want it actively reaching towards the ground. And in doing this, that's engaging all of these muscles, your hips, your abdominals, your legs. Find your breath. Find your focus. Bring it to your breath. Concentrating on your inhale as your ribs expand, allowing space for your lungs to fill with air. And then your exhale, everything contracting to wring out the lungs of all the air. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. 
and exhale. Good. Bending those knees up to the sky. If you're not there already, we're going to bring the feet together to the right side of the mat. Scoot your butt, pick it up, scoot it over to the right side of the mat. Then we're letting the knees fall to the left. Keep both shoulder blades on the ground. Go ahead and wiggle around. Find your comfortable position because we're going to hold this for a few minutes. So your hands can be above the head in the lazy ballerina or out to the side, pressing the palms down on the ground. Find your good axial stretch. Breathing here. If you want to heighten this stretch, you can bring that right foot and cross that right leg over the left. Again, focus on keeping both shoulder blades on the ground and find the comfortable place for your hands. Breathing here.
hips back to the center, your feet back to the center, finding a little movement. And when you're ready, this time bringing the feet all the way to the left side of the mat, picking the bum up, bringing it to the left side of the mat, and then letting the knees fall all the way to the ground. If that's in your practice, if not, put a pillow under your knees. Find a good stretch again. If you need to adjust the body, that's fine. Find both of your shoulder blades on the ground. Either the hands up in a lazy ballerina or reaching out to the side, pressing the palms into the earth. Breathing here. Again, if you want to heighten that stretch, bringing that left foot this time, left leg crossing the right leg in that stretch. Again, make sure you keep both shoulder blades on the ground. And keep breathing. That attention tries to go elsewhere. Bring it back to your breath. Bring it to the birds singing here. I hope you can hear them. It's fabulous. Just breathing deeply. Plow pose now from here. Now, if that is not in your practice, that's fine because it's really a really uh, heightened stretch. <laughs> really, a really heightened stretch. But for those of you who cannot get your feet over your head, bending your arms, bringing your elbows to the mat, and then lifting your hips up, holding them here with your hands, find that same stretch in that spine. You just don't get oh, all the way up to that top spine, but that's all right. 
You can even, if that's not in your practice, come to a seated position, lacing, interlacing the fingers at the base of the skull, letting gravity pull the neck down. That also stretches that top spine. So if you're with me, coming to your plow pose, Gotta move my headband that I have posing as a mask right now. So, shoulders pressing into the ground, elbows bent, helping your body, your hips, your feet about hips width apart. Pressing the heels to the back. You can help with your hands. Pressing that body, stretching. Again, those hamstrings, those calf muscles and your spine, breathing here. And exhale. Again, when you're ready to come out of the pose, please do. Inhale. And exhale. And one more full breath here. Exhale. And if you're ready, go ahead and come out. I'm gonna come into my ear pressure pose now. So from here, bending those knees until they're in line with my ears, or as close as you can get. Breathing here. Now that's hard for me. So sometimes, especially because it's hard to breathe with my lungs, my whole body crunched up there. I inhale here with my legs extended and exhale, bringing the knees down. Inhale, extending the legs. Exhale, bending. Inhale, extending. Exhale, bending. you're ready. Coming down nice and easy. Out of the pose. From here, grab a bolster or towel if you have. Roll it up so it's like a log or a pillow. Whatever you have. And if you have nothing, that's fine. We're just going to do a heart opening pose. So I'm going to place this so it comes to the small of my back here but the roll is gonna be in the center of my spine. So as I lay back, my shoulder blades are gonna to fall to each side of it, allowing me to open my arms to the side and open my chest. Go ahead and adjust, find your, find your pose, and find whatever is comfortable for you with your legs, your knees. If you want them up in the air, that's fine. If you want to open them into a reclined butterfly, please feel free to do that. And again, if your ankles, if that bothers your ankles, get a towel or something to press under your heels so that your ankles are up instead of down. Find a good, comfortable pose for your body. That chest open.
focus to your body, to your breath. Deep inhale. And exhale. And exhale. Focusing on your body. Focusing on your breath. Continuing your peace. Only a few more minutes. That focus. Deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. muscles, bringing the attention back to your body, when you're ready, this time if you had your reclined butterfly position, take your time, use your hands to lift those thighs, rolling off of your bolster, towel, or pillow. Moving the knees from one side to the other. Breathing with it, breathing with your movement. Inhale and exhale. Rolling on to one side or the other. Taking your time, finding the weight of your body and your hands. Pushing your body up, coming to a seated position, nice and slowly, find your comfortable position, we're going to do some nice, easy breathing to finish up the class, I hope you enjoyed. So everyone's gone, so I'm gonna move my mask again. Real quick, a little shout out to my local stores, my local loves, shop local, it's important. So one of the things that I would really, really, really love to talk about in depth, but we're not gonna to do today, is uh, my essential oils. It's really important to me. These two, the doTERRA is a great brand. I got these from Aaliyah, shout out. And I have Balance and Serenity. These are two of my favorite. I actually broke my bracelet, so I just have them on my skin today, but it's fabulous. Whenever you need to, you just smell, take some deep breaths. Such a wonderful calming effect. And then this one, the plant therapy I got from the Third Coast Shack. That's right. This one's Clarity. Christian gave me this one and it is fabulous. It's so great. It's it's like a stress reliever. So when, when I'm really having anxiety or something just isn't going my way or there's a ton of stuff going on, I have classes to prepare for, whatever it may be, dealing with my nine-year-old, just take a second, bring myself back, deep breaths, little cat-cow, working that spine. It's so helpful and so wonderful. But then again, uh, shop Bojohns. Oh my gosh, she has some great.
clothes right now. I just got a new yellow dress. It's so beautiful. And then Island Sports has some great prices on bathing suits. Probably the best on the island and such a huge, huge variety to choose from. All, everything from name brand all the way down to off brand, you know, but great prices, great quality, lots of stuff. So leave yourself time if you're gonna go through there and go through stuff. And then of course the Shack, one of my favorite little stores. Tons of local stuff in that store. They do tie dye, do they do prints? We're gonna do some tank tops for me, for my yoga. I'm super excited. Deep breath. I'm so sorry we should have finished our breathing first. Here we go. Inhale, bring the hands up to the sky. Hands to heart center, exhale. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, palms coming back to the earth. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, palms coming to heart center. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, palms coming back to the earth. And inhale. Exhale. Remember, spread love and kindness, peace, not hate. It's super important right now, even just in our everyday interaction with other people. I will say namaste. Thank you for coming. Thank yourself for taking time to do your yoga. And have a wonderful day.